Okay, this is question number four on the energy primer from the College Board. Um, it talks about, uh, it's referring back to that same house, but now we're going to consider installing solar panels. And it's telling us that the average solar flux in Cleveland, where this house is found, is 160 watts per meter squared. That extra little two there is a typo from the College Board that shouldn't be there. Um, and they're saying, what if we installed 10 square meters of solar panels up on our roof? So if we had 10 square meters of solar panels, our system, our solar system, could produce 1,600 watts of power. Um, the 20% efficiency we'll get to in a minute, the fact because solar power is not, like everything else, is not 100% efficient. Um, you'll recall a watt is the same as a joule per second. So this is 1,600 joules of energy per second on average. But the question, question A says, how much energy could be gained in one year in this manner? So you have to, this is only per second. So this is going to take a lot of conversion factors that you already know. If we're producing 1,600 joules per second, and there's 60 seconds in a minute, and 60 minutes in an hour, and 24 hours in a day, and 365 days in a year, you could combine this, you know, you could say 3,600 minutes in an hour. Um, some people know how many seconds are in a year. Um, and so that would get us to a year. So seconds would cancel out, minutes would cancel out, hours would cancel out, days would cancel out. We would now, if we did all this math, we'd now know joules per year. But we don't want to know joules per year. Did it want us to know BTUs? Oh, we're going to need BTUs later for the hot water. So let's just go to BTUs. And we know one BTU is the same as 1,055 joules. Notice I put the joules on the bottom because they're, in the, they're on the top here, so joules will cancel. So now all this math, 1,600 times 60 times 60 times 24 times 365 divided by 1,055 equals, that means times 10 to the 7th. Or I could turn it this way, and you could see my huge number. Um, all right, so that's 4.78 times 10 to the 7th BTUs. Now we'll get to the efficiency. It said our furnace, our solar panel system, is only 20% efficient. There's two different ways you could do this. I think the easiest way is to multiply it by 20%. 4.78 times 10 to the 7 BTUs times 20%, right? That's 20%, which comes to 9,560,000 9, BTUs or 9.56 mega BTUs. So you could do it that way or some people prefer to set it up in a proportion, that's fine. Um, if you want 20% is what is 20% of 4.78 times 10 to the 7th BTUs. Doing this math out, X comes to 9,500 9,560,000 BTUs, or same thing, 9.56 mega BTUs. So that's how much energy our solar system can produce. Now question B asks, what fraction of our total annual heating requirement is this? If you recall from the problem above, it says that we needed... 
we needed 120 mega BTUs to heat that house, but our solar panel is only producing 9.56 mega BTUs. So if you want, if you look at this it's a simple proportion, this is this is X percent of 120 turns out to be only about 8% of our heating requirement, right? Because it, it came out to that. 8% um, is not much, but it's better than nothing. Question th C is kind of a strange question. How many baths could you heat up with this energy? If you have 9,560,000 BTUs of, of energy coming from your solar panel and each bath takes almost 8,000 BTUs, then you could heat up 1,204 baths with your solar energy. So that's number four.